hi, Faye, come in. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, you're not late. Yes, I am. I said I'd be here at 10. It's three minutes past. Oh, well, what's three minutes? <laughs> Louise, do you know how many phone calls you can make in three minutes? <gasps> Almost forgot. Call Mr. Bennett, health department. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Blanchard. <laughs> This is Mrs. Willis. Uh, hi. Just call me Faye. If you call me Helen. Oh. <laughs> well, won't you sit down? Thank you. <laughs> Louise has told me what wonderful work you've been doing. Oh, it's not me, Helen. It's people like Louise that keep that center going. <laughs> I just try to put the right person in the right job, which is why I wanted to see you today, Louise. As you know, Doris Bingham, who's been editing our monthly newsletter, is moving out of town. Ooh, that reminds me, Doris <laughs> Jewel. Oh, nice. You giving Doris a going away present? Well, no. You see, she borrowed my necklace 21 days ago. I want to be sure to get it back before she leaves. <laughs> oh, I see. Anyway, we need a new editor, and I was wondering if you'd be interested in the job, Louise. Me? Oh, this is so sudden. How about it? <laughs> Well, uh, good. Uh, now, here's some old copies of the newsletters and some ideas for new articles. Well, I don't Louise, know. Louise, it would be marvelous for you. It should be lots of fun, <laughs> Louise. Yes. Oh, you think so? Sure. When Tom and I were living in Europe, I put out a monthly newsletter for Americans living abroad. I was always the first one to hear the latest gossip. <laughs> <laughs> Louise, dear, I don't have to tell you how important that newsletter is, do I? Oh, no. Good, that saves me two minutes. <laughs> I've never really done much writing before. Oh, don't worry, Louise. If you need any help, just ask me. I took some journalism courses in college. You did? I am a pretty good speller. Yes, at Columbia. <laughs> and Mother Jefferson says I write some pretty good letters. And you used to edit a newsletter in Europe. Mm -hmm. And I do know how to type. Louise, I have a great idea. Yes? <laughs> Now, there is no sense in forcing you to do this newsletter. Why don't we make Helen the editor? Helen? Yes. <laughs> With your background, Helen, dear, you'll be perfect for the job. Won't she be perfect, Louise? Helen? <laughs> oh, well, sure. You'd be perfect, Helen. Hey, how about it, Helen? <laughs> well, this is very flattering, but I don't even work at the center. You do now. New member package, Helen Willis. <laughs> <laughs> look over this material and I'll get back to you later, Helen, dear. Well, I must be going. But, uh, uh, uh Faye, uh, would you like some coffee? Yes, I would love some, but I can't. I've got to be cross town in 17 and a half minutes for another meeting. <laughs> Bye. Oh, so uh, you used to live in Europe, huh? Uh, yes, my husband and I lived in Paris for two years. Really? Well, my husband and I were in Paris for three months and five days. <laughs> we have to get together and talk sometime. I would love that. <laughs> Helen, Paris. <laughs> oh, leave it to you to find us such a really good editor. Thank you, Louise, dear. Goodbye, Helen, dear. <laughs> You're welcome, Faye. Dear. <laughs> Why, Louise, she is an amazing woman. Yeah. Oh, better get busy. Uh, Helen, what about the shopping? Oh, shopping? That'll have to wait. I have to read over this material and get busy on the newsletter. <sighs> See you later, girl. And thanks for introducing me to Mrs. Blanchard. Sure. Anything for a friend. <laughs>